So what happened yesterday, there was an allegation that um, some of our county officials, they got one of our candidates' numbers, and instead of posting his numbers from the ballot after the count onto the tally, it was 169 ballot papers. Instead of posting that onto the candidates' tally, uh, the county officials instead got 169, moved it to another candidate, and only posted 16, one six. So we, our scrutiny has raised the issue, and so we had to uh, lodge a complaint at the local police station. And upon the complaint, uh, those four alleged uh, polling officials or counting officials were taken into the, into the police station and they were interrogated yesterday. And we uh, made complaint for them to be charged uh, for the election. <laughs> electoral laws and we've told the election manager not to return those four suspects once they become a subject to police investigation they are known as suspects they can never return back to work terminate them because they've got allegations and allegations are serious you can't tamper with someone's papers you can't tamper with someone's numbers what is registered has to go straight up into under his name and not someone else's name and so after we had sorted that issue out. This morning again, we had uh, issues of ballot papers being found in the white tent. So I was continuous again, raised the alarm that the papers found there, so that's why we all candidates here, to find out why were ballot papers, signed ballot papers and unsigned ballot papers stacked in the white tent. So we had an audience with the election manager and he said, those papers are all dead papers. So I don't know. When you've got someone, uh, POs or APOs, signature at the back of a ballot paper, stacked in a tent, I don't know whether it's a dead paper or still a live paper. And we've asked him, why wasn't it stacked in the container? No space. Was it busy? So we've said, okay, if that is so, before the counting proceeds, we want all the ballot papers to be taken, locked up in a container, to give us the assurance, as well as all our scrutinious, the assurance that those papers are not sticked out safely, so we can proceed with the counting because we got less days. 29 is a return of reach. Today is Thursday, next week Friday is 29. Effectively, eight days or so remaining. So we need to get this process on the way quickly, as quick as possible. So that was our conversation this morning.